Warning. Although this video contains action figure reviews, it is intended for the adult collector and may contain some lowbrow humor. Viewer discretion is advised. This is stuff and things. This is stuff and things. Greetings and salutations, my fellow stuff guitars. Goldie coming at you with another stuff and things review. And man, guys, it has been yet again another. Another minute or two since I brought you guys reviews. It's It's been some time because I've been busy and I came down with the stomach flu and I was throwing up and pooping everywhere and I haven't had any time to bring you guys reviews, but now I'm about 100% and I am back. And I hope everybody enjoyed their holiday season, their Thanksgiving. Hopefully everybody had awesome Thanksgivings with their families and got stuff with food. Got stuff with food. But anyway, guys, today we're here to talk about this cat. And I like this cat. This cat's really nice. And what is this cat? Well, of course, this is the Marvel Legends fan channel exclusive variant Deathlock. And he's, 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 he's pretty dope, man. I mean, I, I really like the deco compared to the old one. Here's some comparison shots of the original Deathlock. As you can see, it's, uh, you know, it's cool. I like it. I like the original Deathlock. The first Deathlock comic I ever read as a kid was Deathlock vs. The Thing, and I think I found it. It was one of my, maybe my dad's old comics, and it was one of those Marvel Tales comics, and it was awesome, and I was instantly sold on this cybernetic zombie from uh, from hell, and he's, he's awesome. He's an awesome character, and also an awesome figure, and a lot of fun to play with, but we're going to get into that in a couple seconds here, because, uh... You know, let's just let's just give you a quick 360 degree view of this here Deathlock. As you can see, the paint deco is really nice. It is it's darker than the red one. I like the black boots. I like the darker pack. I I like just about everything about this figure, to be dead honest. So we're about to uh, hop in here for everybody's favorite segment of stuff and things, which is articulation breakdown all right articulation breakdown guys now deathlock is you know based on the old deathlock body which is totally a okay with me man because the articulation is pretty Solid on this guy. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the legs first here, of course. Now, the leg can get a nice kick up here. He could get up there. It does have the, uh, it does have the swivel here. He does have double jointed knees that get him an extremely good range of motion. As you can see, that is a really nice bend. I mean, that is a really nice bend. So he does have the mid calf cut, which gives extra range of articulation, in my opinion. Calf, uh, or he does have the ankle pivot and rocker. So, I mean, excellent range of motion in both of the legs. I'm not going to complain there. The waist does have a spin. The torso can get you about yay forward and about yay back. Now, the backpack is removable, and you can get a little bit back further with that. This does unplug, as you can see. The gun is removable from the holster, and it's a nice gun. I really like it. And they even painted the little sight on it. The little sight is red, so that's pretty sweet. Again, the paint deco on this guy is fantastic. I really, really enjoy it. Uh, head is on a ball point or ball peg. Can spin, can look up, can look down. Great deco on the helmet. Looks so good. Arm is on a ball joint with a swivel. Excellent range of motion there, as you can see. And it does have the ratcheting in there, as you can hear. So it does lock into position for excellent posing. He does have the double-jointed elbows, but those, those ain't so good due to the biceps. I mean, you know, it gets about there and there. Now, if you put this one down, you could get an extra click on this guy here. But that don't help because it don't get you much there. You know what I mean? That's about it. That's about all you're doing with this guy. Now, this hand is on the swivel that is for, like, the gunner swords, which is really nice. And it's also got the uh, swivel here. So, you know, again, excellent ranges of motion on this fantastic figure. Other arm is the exact same. 
but he's got the open hand, so, you know, you could have him in uh, some gun-holding poses or some choking poses or whatever you want to do with this here death lock. And uh, let's go ahead and set him back down so you get a good look at him. And man, like I said, this figure is absolutely awesome. I know it's just a repaint. I know it's called a variant. But it's such a cool figure, man. It really is. And it looks excellent with an X-Force display. Now, I don't have the San Diego Comic-Con X-Force Archangel, whatever. But I do have the uh, the black hair, darker suited version of uh, Psylocke. So that's my fill-in for my, my little X-Force setup that I do. It's, 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 a, it's a un poquito one. Un poquito. So, you know, it's, it, it is what it is, and it does what it does, and I love it. Now, as for this figure, he is two enormous thumbs up. I absolutely love it. I love the paint tackle. I like the redo in it. I wasn't, I, I, you know, I wasn't sold on all the other fan channel, channel exclusives, like the Stealth Iron Man. I wasn't sold on that. I really don't like that Punisher they put out. I know it goes against the grain, and I know a lot of people are enjoying it, but, I mean, the classic Walgreens Punisher or the, even the, the, the classic... Carded Punisher are my go-to Punishers. Now, if we eventually get a Tim Brad's 3 Punisher or, or a closer Mike Zek Punisher, I will be all over that. Like, all over that. Or even a nice, like, you know, roughed-up Ennis Punisher down the road. I mean, I'm all over that. I don't have the money for the Mezco 112. I didn't jump on it when it came out. So I missed out on that bad boy. But, I mean, our Punishers need a trench coat, guys. I mean, come on, Hasbro. Quit snoozing on that. I know you gave us the Epic Hero ones back in the day on that really terrible buck body. But, you know, whatever. But this Deathlock, back to this guy. I was sold on him. Him and uh, Cowboy Hat Logan. Those were those are the fan channel ones I have been sold on thus far. My son Jack, he wants the uh, big time Spider Man, so eventually I might grab that guy. So you might see a review of him eventually. But other than that, Devlock's awesome. I absolutely love this figure. Um, he is seriously again two major thumbs up. And guys, it is the holiday season, so I should be getting lots of new stuff soon. And I will be bringing you guys tons of reviews as soon as I possibly can. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. Again, Deathlock, two major thumbs up. This has been Goldie for Stuff and Things. Hey, guys, Goldie gets all of his figures from Mr. Wayne's Pop Culture Collectibles in West Mont, Illinois, your number one stop for all of your action figure needs. And remember, it is Stuff and Things approved. For all my wacky Stuff and Things misadventures, be sure to follow Stuff and Things with Goldie on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Stuff and Things!